Uh, hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. So in this video we're going to actually continue from the previous one. So in the previous video uh, we have uh, created a simple get request using a retrofit library and uh, in this video we're going to continue with that same project. So uh, in the previous video we have used the endpoint uh, named the post uh, slash number one and uh, we have basically grabbed that result converted uh, from the JSON to Kotlin and uh, displayed to our user. But there is only one more issue with that uh, endpoint and that is uh, that this endpoint is uh, hard coded. So in this video I want to show you how we can uh, customize this endpoint and basically dynamically get the input from our user and uh, add that uh, value to this uh, endpoint, okay? So uh, for that matter we're going to create a new uh, function inside our simple API and inside this get annotation we want to specify post post slash and inside these curly brackets we want to add this uh, post number value okay or string so uh, we're going to have uh, one uh, parameter inside our uh, new function and uh, that parameter will have the type of integer and uh, we're going to annotate that uh, integer with a path annotation and uh, this value from the path annotation should be the same as inside this get uh, annotation on the top so those two values needs to be the same okay and uh, next inside the repository we're going to also create a new function named the get post to and here we're going to have only one parameter and that is a simple integer type and we want to return a post uh, wrapped in the response so just use a retrofit instance to get this uh, post uh, to function as well and inside our uh, view model we are going to do the same uh, as uh, in the previous video so just create a new function and uh, get the response from this get post to function and uh, basically we need to create a new mutable live data object where we are going to store that new value okay all right so uh, inside our uh, main activity uh, we want to uh, change this uh, observer to my view my response number two and we want to change a few more things but uh, before that uh, let's uh, get over to our activity main layout uh, where we are going to uh, change our layout as well so here i'm going to just remove those constraints from this text view and i want to add uh, a simple number input okay so uh, below this input i want to add a number uh, I, I want to add a button and uh, just connect these constraints uh, with those views. So basically I want to uh, make our user uh, type uh, number by uh, itself and we're going to use that same number to add to our get request, okay? So just uh, change the IDs of those uh, views here and uh, I can just change this hint on, and stuff, so that's fine. And uh, I want to add the on click listener for this button, okay? So here uh, I'm going to basically remove this from a, from above and here I'm going to call this uh, uh, get post to from our view model and uh, now I want to create a new variable named my number and I want to get the number from that edit text which user typed and I want to uh, specify that uh, number to this uh, get post to function okay and I want to cut all of that inside our button on click listener okay okay and I'm going to remove uh, everything from here so inside this uh, if block I want to basically use a text view to set the text and here I'm going to get everything from this response and I'm going to set that to our text view and do the same for the else block as well. So here let's type for example number 2 and click get. And as you can see we have uh, successfully sent a get request and we have received the result. So everything works fine. So when we type number 3 uh, we're going to see the ID with the number of 3. So now we have dynamically uh, sent this uh, get request and uh, everything works fine. So uh, that's the same if we, for example, enter that number inside this URL. And as you can see, this is the result which we are going to get. So everything works fine. And uh, now I want to show you how we can uh, use a different uh, endpoint. So in this case, we're going to use the endpoint uh, which will have uh, one query uh, user id equal to number three and as you can see this response is uh, different from the previous examples because uh, this response contains uh, 10 different posts and as you can see we have 0 1 2 3 all to the number 10 or sorry to the 9 and uh, we have basically a list of posts so how can we add this query to our um, to our get request well very easily so inside our simple API we're going to create a new function and first uh, in this get annotation just type posts and nothing else. So now inside our function we want to 
add uh, one parameter and of course return this uh, list of posts wrapped in the response so in this case uh, we're returning a list of posts and not just post and here uh, as a parameter we will have only one uh, type of a string and uh, we're going to annotate that with this query annotation and this query annotation will hold the name of that uh, query which is user id okay and basically that uh, user id query will be added to our uh, posts and it will make a get request okay and uh, that value of uh, number uh, three we're going to receive from our user okay so this uh, user id will have the type of integer and not string uh, okay and uh, next uh, inside our repository we want to create a new function as well and let's name this function get custom posts okay and here uh, we're going to have only one parameter and that is a number so user id of type integer and we will return a list of posts wrapped in a response object okay and now just call the retrofit uh, instance and get a custom post function and pass this uh, uh, user id parameter okay and inside our main view model as well let's create a new function here and uh, let's pass this uh, integer as a parameter and inside this view model scope we're going to receive a result from our uh, uh, get custom posts function and we want to display that or store that uh, res response inside our uh, mutable live data so i'm going to rename this mutable live data to my custom posts okay and i'm going to store that response inside that new mutable live data and of course don't forget to change the the type of this mutable live data to a list of posts wrapped in a response so here uh, change this um, observer to my custom posts and uh, this function to get custom posts all right, so basically everything stays the same. We have uh, passed this uh, number from this edit text inside our new function. And uh, as a response, we are just going to uh, uh, display that, that response. But uh, I want to also log that response. So I'm going to use this uh, for each uh, on our response. So basically uh, for each uh, list, uh, for each post in a list, I want to uh, log user ID, ID, title and body as well. So we're going to have uh, multiple posts and that's why I want to uh, print uh, each one of those. Okay, so uh, here when I run the app, uh, I'm going to see an error. Okay, so I just need to add a question mark uh, uh, on this uh, body function. Okay, and uh, also I want to add uh, one more log and this log will basically have the forward slash and it will um, work as a separation between those posts. Okay, so now let's run our application and let's see uh, how will it work. So let's type number three, for example, click get, and we can see the results inside the text view as well, but it uh, looks even better in our log cat. And as you can see, we have nine different posts and uh, all of those posts are uh, displayed successfully. So we can see this uh, ID of three and uh, we can see number 21, number 22, 23 and so on until uh, number 30. So everything works fine and we have successfully retrieved a list of posts this time with a custom query. So uh, now what I want to show you, I want to show you how we can add uh, multiple queries to our uh, endpoint or to our GET request. So uh, there are also two more um, custom queries in the documentation for this uh, JSON placeholder and I'm going to show you that right now. So as you can see in our previous example, our posts are, uh, uh, are uh, sorted uh, from this uh, 21 to the number 30 and this time I'm going to sort the IDs in order of the descending order okay so i have used the two queries two custom queries sort and order okay and now as you can see our response is a little different so now our first post uh, starts with the id of 30 and our last post uh, is uh, 21 okay so basically we have just uh, sorted our list uh, in a different way okay and now i'm going to show you how we can add uh, more queries so there is uh, one option to add uh, multiple query annotation and I'm going to show you uh, how will that work and uh, after that I'm going to show you how we can add the query map annotation and uh, reduce the number of those uh, query annotations but for now just add those uh, two parameters uh, inside this uh, get custom posts okay so open up uh, main uh, view model or simple API here okay main view model and here just uh, add the two more parameters of a type string so sort and order of a type string and here as well pass sort and order okay and inside our repository we forgot to add 
so sort and order all right and i think uh, that's fine so uh, from our main activity uh, i would just want to hard code those uh, queries and for the sort i want to uh, say id and for the order i want to send uh, I, I want to type uh, the sending order okay so i have just uh, hard coded those values but you can also grab them uh, dynamically from the user so let's type number three and as you can see now our result starts from the number 30 so the id of number 30 and uh, it goes all uh, to the number 21 so it is a descending order and it works perfectly fine so for example if we set a sending order now we're going to get the original example which starts from the number id of number 21 okay so when we scroll on the top as you can see the first uh, post is uh, id of 21 and the last one is uh, of uh, number 30 okay so the finally i want to show you uh one more query which we can use and that is a query map so uh, this new uh annotation will help us reduce uh, the number of those uh, query parameters so for that purpose uh, i'm going to create a new function here okay and uh, this function will have the get annotation uh, with just posts as the in the previous example and uh, here uh, we want to add the two parameters the first parameter is a query annotation and this will be basically a user id of a type integer okay and the second parameter will be type of a string but it will be a query map and here we want to add a map of a key and a value and a key and a value will have a type of a string okay and this way we can add the multiple queries uh, using a hash map and we don't need to specify multiple queries and uh, just crowd our uh, our class or or interface so inside our repository i'm going to also create a new function here return value i want to add a response in a for this list of posts of course uh, let's do the same as in the previous examples so here i forgot to add a return type so a list of posts wrapped in a response of course okay and let's open up main view model here and let's create a new function as well okay so the first parameter is uh, this user id and the second is a map of a key and value of type string and here just uh, create a new variable with the response and get the response from this get custom post to function okay and let's create a new mutable live data object here uh, my custom post number two and let's store this response inside our new uh, mutable live data object and now uh, after that inside our main activity you will see how we can uh, pass multiple parameters using a hash map okay so here let's um, just change these uh, values uh, to number two and here we need to pass a hash map so let's create a new variable named options and uh, we want to create a new hash map of a type uh, string so the key and value will be a type of a string okay so just change this map to hash map and now let's call the function put and here uh, for the first parameter we need to type the uh, query name which is uh, underscore sort and the value will be the id and uh, okay we, we can simplify this example okay okay and here just type uh, underscore order equal to descending and now let's pass this hash map and everything should work uh, the same as the in the previous example but this time only we have not used the multiple query annotations instead we have used the query map so as you can see i have used the id of uh, user id of number four okay and uh, now everything works perfectly fine okay and uh, that will be all for this video in the next video i want to show you how we can uh, display result from our get request inside the recycler view okay so that will be all for this video uh thank for watching please like this video if you find it helpful of course and uh, see you in the next one one is repping oh my god oh my god if i die i'm a legend when